It's almost time. San Diego Comic Con 2024 is upon us. And before our coverage of the event begins, today we have got an exclusive look at the Masters of the Universe exclusive from Mattel. It's uh, almost Comic Con. Time to open some toys. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan. Thank you for once again joining me here on the channel. Today, I am very excited to be getting a first look at Mattel's Masters of the Universe San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which comes in the form of Too Bad. But not just Too Bad, no. My friends, this is a box set that gives us parts so that we can display Too Bad or we can separate them into Tuvar and Badra. Pretty cool idea. First time that we have ever had Tuvar and Badra represented as action figures. So without further ado, let's dive right in and check out this brand new exclusive. All right, so we got to start with a look at the packaging, because if there's one thing that Mattel always does, is they go hard <laughs> with their exclusive packaging. Their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive boxes are always incredibly intricate, very, very well designed. And you can see we've got something very similar going on here. So the front of the box here actually features the Ancient Mirror of Avatar, uh, which is an artifact from the original Filmation series. And within the mirror, we can see two bad together. Rotating around the box, you can actually see Tuvar and Badra separated in the background, having an argument. But then we can see Too Bad together. <laughs> I'm the brains behind the brawn. We've got a little bio there for Too Bad. And again, rotating over here, you can see Badra arguing with Tuvar. Um, so this is cool because this is a nice little slip cover, which you can see is like a transparent slip cover there because the mirror is clear and shows that artwork on the box underneath so pretty cool stuff when we remove that we've got this gorgeous artwork like i love the colors on this of two too bad uh together there and then on either side we have windows revealing our two individual figures of tuvar and badra and this is where the box can now fold and then magnetically seal together to present us with this two-pack of Tuvar and Badra. We've got Skeletor on the front here as if he's blasting them, about to merge them together. The top of the box says Tuvar and Badra and actually gives like little individual short bios for each of those characters. And on the back side of this form together box, you can see Skeletor zapping the two mercenaries to merge them together. This box is really, really nice. Really well done. And as you can see, collector friendly. Uh, it's got those little flaps there so you can just easily remove that little plastic window right there. We can pull the trays out and you can see on the two var side, that's where we've got the too bad body down here, the merged body. So we'll be able to merge them together. There are little rubber bands that hold them in place, but if you really, really wanted to, you would be able to slide these back in here and display them in the box. Over on the Badra side, the other accessory that comes with these is that ancient mirror of Avatar straight out of the Filmation series. So packaging, really amazing, but let's start opening it up and getting a look at what's inside. So the set does include a brand new mini comic titled Hostile Convergence. Um, as always, I try not to get too spoilery here, but I do want to take a quick look at this. So if you don't want to be spoiled by the comic, make sure you skip ahead in the video to miss this. Um, one of the reasons I want to show this off is because they did something really clever here. It's a two-sided comic. One side is Tuvar's perspective, and the other side is Badra's perspective. And you can see it's really cool because they're basically telling the same story, but from each of their perspectives. And here you go, huge spoiler alert. They converge in the center of the book with Skeletor merging them together to create Too Bad with one heck of an amazing one-liner there. So you don't want to work together? Well, Too Bad! I love it. That is so 
incredibly cool. So, you know, it's a fun story here, definitely worth checking out. Wait, what does that say? Welcome to Pixlor Palace? Hang on, hang on. Prince Pixlor, Lord of Toycon, a vast asteroid belt composed of the most precious treasures in the galaxy? He's neither good nor evil, but powerful and cunning? Prince Pixlor? Prince Pixlor, Lord of Toycon? What? I... I'm a Masters of the Universe character. They named a Motu character after me. Prince Pixlor of Toycon. Uh... It's totally insane. It is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, and before you guys ask, I did confirm it. And yes, it's an homage meant for me. Um, I am honored. This is unbelievable. Not something I ever expected to see happen. I got to give a massive shout out to Robert Rudman and the rest of the team at Mattel for honoring me with something like this. Um, like, this seriously means a lot to me. Obviously, this brand has always meant a lot to me. I have dedicated a lot of my time on this channel, and I wrote a book about it. And, like, I don't know, like, being made an official character within the lore is just kind of unbelievable. It is a massive honor. So, holy cow, Prince Pixlor of Toycon? This is amazing. Thank you, guys. Wow. So here's Tuvar and Batra outside of the packaging. If you are new to the cartoon collection line, you can see that the figures stand right at six inches tall. So they got the straighter legs and the same bodies that we're used to from the rest of the figures in the cartoon collection. Just bringing Skeletor in here so you can see what they all look like scaled together. They all fit right in with each other. Uh, same kind of styling, not a whole lot different going on here. We do have some different parts uh, with the boots there, the gloves, and of course the armor and the head sculpt are all new. So those are pretty nice. I do really like the colors on these guys too. They're bright and vibrant. I love how on Batra we've got almost like this rusty uh, and it's very metallic like bronze color. It's really cool looking. You can see it's got kind of like that swirled marbleized look to the plastic, but very shiny. And even the orange is shiny on the armor that they're wearing. And then Tuvar here has got the silver on his gauntlets and his boots and again it's kind of got that like marbleized shine to the plastic so the figures are very bright and colorful and vibrant now one of the things that i find a little odd about this pairing is that well we never saw tuvar and badra in the filmation series that whole thing didn't get created until the Mike Young production series, the 2000X series. That was like a brand new story that was created for them for that show, and it's just kind of been their origin ever since. But we never saw these guys in Filmation. So it's interesting to see this kind of get retconned into the Filmation story and the Filmation look, even though we never saw them look like this in that original animated series. It's fun to get toys of them like this, but I am surprised that we didn't get these in the standard origin styling to fit more in with the vintage toy line look rather than the filmation look. And mostly I say that because I think there would have been a lot more detail you know, like on the vintage Too Bad figure, uh, the Badger side specifically was scaly. Um, there was just a bit more detail there that I think would have fit more in line with like the 2000X style that they came from rather than this very clean filmation look. But regardless, that's what we've got here. Now, the figures are exactly what you would expect as far as articulation goes on these guys. And since we're going to merge them together, as you would expect, they do still have all of the same pop and play features that you would also expect from all of our Origins figures. So they even come apart at the waist here. Um, you know, the wrists, the arms pop out of socket. But we do have one new joint um, that is a pop apart joint, and that is here at the thighs, look at that. You can now pull the legs off the ball joints and yes, both sides on both figures pop apart. This will be so that we can combine them onto this included torso to create our two bad figures. So why don't we go ahead and do that real quick. So obviously we're gonna need 
the right arm, the right leg, and the head of Tuvar over here. We'll pop all of these pieces on. Very solid. It works really well. I think it's uh, the that new leg joint uh, functions really well. Like you can see, even when it's on there, it still moves exactly as you would expect it to move. And it doesn't feel like it would pop off too easy, but it's still very easy to pull right off that ball joint when you're intending to pull it off. So I think it's really nicely engineered overall. Get the arm popped in place. And the last thing we got to do here is remove that leg. And this is going to be our finishing touch to create our filmation style too bad. So this is what too bad looks like when he's all assembled here. It's really cool looking and it's fun finally getting a too bad figure in the origin style. Now let me go ahead again. We'll bring in some more figures for a scale comparison so that you can see that even as too bad, he still stands at the same height. So there's no height gained or anything like that. I think in our heads, we always think of too bad as like a bigger character. Um, but the filmation one was pretty much the same size as everybody else. Um, you know, really the vintage toy was too. So you can see he doesn't really look bigger than anybody. In fact, somehow he feels a little small and maybe that's just because of the way the body has to be um, but that's it's really interesting looking at this guy the filmation version here when I think a lot of us were kind of expecting the origins version um, and the origins version would have been more inspired by that vintage toy which like I mentioned earlier had scales had some extra details I always loved the way like the purple ran down uh, Tuvar's leg on this side so we're missing a lot of those extra details here with this very clean look you know it's also worth mentioning like all of those interchangeable parts that I showed you are obviously going to match up with your other figures and you can still take him apart at the waist there. So if you want to do some fun mixing and matching with the other figures on this body, that's definitely something we can do. Now, the standard figures in the line um, don't come apart up here at the thighs like Too Bad does. So unfortunately, like I couldn't do like one He-Man leg and one Skeletor leg. But, you know, if I want to change out the whole torso, um, you know, I can pop He-Man's legs onto the too bad torso and we can have some fun mixing and matching this way. There we go. <laughs> See, we can do some silly stuff just like this. Obviously, uh, this is completely ridiculous but it's fun, right? Like that's kind of the point of it. And I imagine some people are going to have a lot of fun with this. Like I'm kind of excited to see some of the other silly creations that we're going to get just from utilizing this new body here. <laughs> the other thing that is very interesting with this figure, no accessories as far as weapons go. He doesn't even get the orange shield that the vintage figure had. I'm surprised he doesn't have that double headed mace that the 2000X version had. He doesn't even have blasters that he can hold as Tuvar and Badra while they're out bounty hunting. He just gets no weapons at all. The only accessory that we get is this filmation artifact being the ancient mirror of avatar now if you're into the filmation accessories this is very cool it's a really really nicely done mirror you can see they put the really cool lenticular sticker on there so it looks like the face is talking just like it did in that episode um you can see it's a little just kind of hollowed out plastic on the back but it's still a really nice accessory it's an interesting inclusion because while Too Bad appeared in the episode Ancient Mirror of Avatar, he was on screen barely at all. He was nowhere near the mirror. He actually had nothing to do with the mirror storyline in that episode. So he really has no ties to this accessory. I'm not entirely sure why it was chosen to come with this figure. Um, for me personally, I would have much rather had an assortment of weapons for Too Bad. The shield felt like the minimum we could have got here. But the shield, the mace, maybe a blaster for Tuvar and a separate blaster rifle for Badra. Something like that would have been much cooler, in my opinion, than the ancient Mirror of Avatar. But I don't know. Maybe you guys will have a different opinion on that. All right, guys. It's comparison time. Here is the vintage 
Too Bad, standing alongside the new cartoon collection Too Bad action figure. This is a great way to demonstrate everything that I was just talking about. Um, you can see on the Badger side, we got scales and frills on the sides of the legs and the arms. I love the way the purple and blue kind of look like they're more melted together. The way it kind of, the purple comes down the blue leg there. Um, I think there's a lot more details on here. And you can see why this new one feels so small because look at the size of the torso on the Vintage One in comparison. This is why I personally think the Origins version would have fit better for the Tuvar and Badra combination feature here. But again, maybe that's just my opinion on things, and I hope that we're still going to get this version, the Origins version, at some point down the road. Just for funsies, we got to show the 2000X version of Too Bad because this is where the Tuvar Badra story comes from. This is that double-headed mace thing I was talking about that would have been neat to see included as well. He had a much more monstrous look in that particular series, so really interesting looking at the Filmation version alongside the MYP version there. And then, of course, we had the Masters of the Universe Classics version there, which is inspired more by the vintage toy design. Uh, and again, it's got a bit of a bigger look to it overall, uh, which again makes that Filmation one just feel a little bit smaller in comparison. So there we go, a whole bunch of different Too Bad figures here, all sort of done in different styles, four different Too Bads over the years, um, which is really interesting that we don't have more of these, but hopefully we will be getting some more here in the Origins line at some point down the road. So there you go, my friends. That is a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Too Bad. I gotta be perfectly honest, I have mixed emotions about this particular exclusive. Now, I think the figure itself is a fine figure. It's a good figure. The engineering is really fun, and I do love the idea of the swappable parts so that you can create both Tuvar and Badra in addition to combining them into Too Bad. Um, obviously, it does create a little bit of an issue where people are definitely gonna wanna display all of those, which means they have to buy multiple packs and I know, I get it, that's probably the intention, but still it's kind of like, ah, couldn't have we just had a multi-pack with all of the characters in it. But I think more than that, my biggest gripes with this set are making it cartoon collection instead of Origins. It still feels a little strange to me. I think I and many of the other fans out there would have preferred this in the origin style based more on the vintage toy. I personally think that would have fit a lot better with the Tuvar and the Badra just because of the detailing and everything we could have gotten on those figures. Um, interesting stuff that they chose to go cartoon collection for this particular exclusive. I would imagine it's just because um, that's the current line that's being pushed at retail. But I still think the lack of accessories is probably the thing that bothers me the most. I think at the very least, we should have got the orange shield, the classic Too Bad shield. Uh, but even giving some blasters to Tuvar and Badger, I mean, they're in the mini comic with blasters. Um, it would have been cool to have some sort of accessory, some sort of weapon that Too Bad could have held on to. So I definitely have my gripes with this set. It's it's a nice set. I love the box. I love the idea. I think it's a good figure. We finally have a too bad. I just feel like it could have been so much more. And look, uh, I'm totally honored that I appear in the mini comic. Obviously, I am over the moon. I am floored by that. I am very grateful for that. Don't get me wrong. Um, doesn't mean I can't still critique the figure though, right? <laughs> So this is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. As we've mentioned, it will be available at Mattel's booth at the show, but it is also being sold online starting Thursday, July 25th at 9 a.m. Pacific time over at MattelCreations.com. Make sure you don't miss out. I mean, it's always unpredictable with how fast these exclusives are gonna sell. So set yourself a reminder, put it on your calendar, set an alarm, get on to Mattel Creations. I'll also link to it in the video description down below so you can bookmark it, and that way everybody can hopefully get their hands on a Too Bad. I'm also interested to see if we get just this regular version of Too Bad without Tuvar and Badra as a retail release. That totally seems like something that would happen. A lot of the San Diego exclusives eventually end up at retail, like stripped down with some of those exclusive parts. So I guess time will tell. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Stay tuned. My San Diego Comic-Con coverage is about to start. 
We're going to be doing lots of videos from the show floor, and I would love to see you guys here. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Until next time, my friends. P Prince Pixlor out! <laughs>